Hi, this is Straight Up Mortgage with Madi, and I just wanted to make a video in regards to mortgage layoffs. So if you have been working in the industry or um, whether you're new to the industry, old to the industry, layoffs are a thing that comes up and is a topic of discussion, especially since right now as um, rates are higher than they were, especially in comparison to 2020, um, there has been a number of layoffs this year. In fact, I myself uh, was laid off back in May of this year. So why are the layoffs happening, right? What, what is it? What does it mean? Why is it happening? So in 2020, when the mortgage, when the mortgage, but when the, um, when the market crashed, rates were extremely low. And because rates were low, uh, buyers and homeowners were taking advantage of those low rates and they were either buying homes or refinancing mortgages that they already had, right? But now that the rates have climbed up from the 2.75s to 4, 5, and 6, and even 7%, um, it's not as appetizing or enticing uh, to buy a home or to refinance a mortgage. Plus, many people have mortgage rates that are already, you know, lower than the current mortgage rates. So with all that being said, that means there's less demand for a mortgage. And if there's less demand for a mortgage, then there's less work. And then if there's less work, you know, companies wouldn't be able to survive um, or, you know, still be in in business if they do not do layoffs to kind of, you know, balance out what they have in their pipeline as far as business is uh, concerned. So, so as a processor, um, or especially like the newer processors, because I feel like newer processors are um, more confused about the layoffs and, you know, how to maneuver it and so on and so forth. So for one, what kind of companies um, are affected most by mortgage layoffs? So you can get a mortgage through a mortgage company or through a bank like your Wells Fargo, your Bank of America, your local credit union, so on and so forth. If you are a processor for a bank or for a, um, a uh, credit union, you know, smaller, but basically banks have a wide range as far as the portfolio is concerned. So they're not only selling mortgages, they also have, um, you know, checking accounts, savings accounts, CDs, um, different types of investing. So they have a wide range of product and services. So if the, the rates are going up, they are less likely to do layoffs than a company that is solely doing mortgages, like small mortgage companies that kind of just pop up, um, you know, as the rates are getting lower. Um, also, even just niche banks or niche credit unions that um, are for a specific community, you know, that community always has money or they have a specific clientele that they are lending to, so it doesn't really matter you know what's going on because those are people that are probably going to use portfolio mortgages um, anyway so if you are a processor for you know small banks again you're less likely to get laid off than um, a, a small mortgage companies that's just there's no wide range of services right there's just refinancing and purchasing as far as mortgages are concerned so you know when you are job hunting, keeping these kind of things into consideration. But the thing about it is when you do work for like a bank versus a mortgage company, banks tend to pay less than mortgage companies, which brings me to my next point of saving. Uh, Cause whether you are a processor, whether you are a um, loan originator, you know, when we have these times, these highs, it comes, it happens all the time, right? There's highs and there's lows. So when we're in the highs and, you know, the salaries are really high or as an LO, you're getting a whole bunch of commission. Those are the times that 
we need to um, stock up or we need to save in order to be able to survive and still thrive when there are rainy days. But the best thing about this business is, um, you know, it, it goes in circles. So it's just, it correlates with um, like the stock market, right? As that has its highs and lows, that's how the mortgage industry's rates um, are as well. So, you know, just having yourself or being mentally prepared to, or, you know, just to know that those days could possibly come. So maybe instead of taking the 80K job at um, X, Y, and Z mortgage company, maybe I can, or maybe I should take the job at Bank of America for, you know, 50K. Um, so let's say if you did work in the industry and you got laid off or for whatever reason, you're no longer working at your position there are other mortgage related positions that you could apply for because uh, you have the umbrella of the mortgage industry but then there's different sectors right you have title you have mortgage insurance you have homeowners insurance you have credit you know there's so many different moving parts when you are processing a mortgage and if you have processing experience then you have a lot of experience so if you have experience as a processor and you had to order credit and you had to order an appraisal you had to you know keep in touch with the mortgage income the mortgage insurance companies um, ordering MI and what have you you have experience in all of these different sectors and you know if there aren't any processing positions you could get your foot in you know the door in one of those different um, types of companies so just giving you some insight on um, different jobs that you could potentially apply for and be really good at and may even prefer or like over being a processor yeah, so basically, I just wanted to hop on and share a few things about my experience with layoffs. Um, I've only been laid off once. This was my very first time being laid off. However, I do have a lot of friends and associates in the industry that have been laid off, you know, before. it. I mean, it happens. It's part of uh, what you could possibly you know, experience while working and or being in this industry. So with that being said, knowing that you can expect highs and lows, you can enjoy the highs, but also prepare for if and when you have to experience the lows of the industry as well. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you want to continue to receive more content.